Good evening, everyone. The high school cross-country teams in the Central Upper Peninsula Conference traveled to the Gorzinski Farm in Wilson for their league meet. I am told this is one of the hillier courses runners in the Southern UP visit each year. We will pick up the girls' race at the two-mile mark. That's proof that we're on a farm, hay bale. The Unisings Marissa Immel is quite a ways ahead of everyone else. She would win in 22 minutes and 13 seconds. She would have several runners up on her own team. This is Evie Walters of Superior Central. She finished sixth. Why do we mention that? Because Munising finished one, two, three, four, five. A perfect score of 15. Superior Central was second with 64, and Big Bay Danak was third. Now for the boys, and this time we catch them at the start. Carney Nano, Big Bay Danak, North Central, Superior Central, and Munising from left to right, in case you were trying to figure out all those colors. And up one of the hills, that's one of the gentler hills from what I'm guessing. Brett Hanna of Munising was your winner in 18 minutes and 16 seconds. North Central freshman Seth Polfus is a close second at 18.25. And for the first time in school history, North Central wins the conference championship. They had a score of 42 points. Munising was second with 56 and Superior Central third with 63. The football battle for the Miners' Cup heads back to Sherman Field in Houghton as Michigan Tech hosts NMU this Saturday. The Wildcats have been getting ready in a slightly different manner this week, going outside today with some appropriate music. Now that isn't exactly the Michigan Tech fight song, but it gets the point through to the Wildcat players. Now, the Huskies defeated NMU 41-17 at the Superior Dome last season. Tech has won the last three Miners' Cup games. This rivalry is sinking in with NMU's new starting quarterback, Dustin Thomas. I know everybody else is uh, you know, ready for this game, especially because it's against Michigan Tech. So as their teammate, I'm, of course, on the same thing. So we've been playing the song all week, uh, Black and Yellow, so I absolutely hate black and yellow at this point. The wind is a factor a little bit and, and you throw it in the wind, it's a little different adjusting in the uh, in the air to the ball and those are kind of things you got to do. I, you know, I don't know if it, if it factors in all that much, but it's been beautiful. Let's get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Kickoff from Sherman Field Saturday is set for one o'clock. The Wildcats are one and three so far this season. The Huskies are two and two.